Dearly beloved friends, we are assembled in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate, institution of God, and adorned by our Lord Jesus Christ by his presence and the first miracle he wrought in Cana of Galilee. It is commended by the Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore it is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, soberly, and discreetly. The Holy Scripture set before you the love of Christ for his church as an example for your devotion. You are not left without guidance concerning the meaning of that love. These are the words of the great apostle. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Everyone may sit down. <laughs> Do you, David, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and to cherish, to have and to hold? and forsaking all others to keep yourself to her, only so long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Melanie, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to love and to cherish, to have and to hold, and forsaking all others to keep yourself to him only so long as you both shall live? I do. Have you a ring? This ring I give thee, in token and pledge, in token and pledge, of our constant faith, of our constant faith, and abiding love, and abiding love. This ring I give thee, this ring I give thee, in token and pledge, in token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. And then what we have at the same ceremony. Today, as Melanie and David have sealed their commitment to each other, <laughs> with the exchange of rings, they also make a commitment to their children. We recognize the significant roles that these children play in this marriage. They will now join David and Melanie in this commitment to each other by contributing a part of each individual person into each blended family. Today, this relationship is symbolized through the pouring of this sand, each representing a member. As each individual's sand is poured into the family's one united container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, 
so will it become the bond with your family. From this day forth, you shall be more than one couple or two individuals. There should be a loving and united family. You are a family drawn together by love, held together by devotion. This family is now joined together by a guiding light. And like sands in the hourglass, all the days of our lives. And as much as you have agreed together to enter the holy rite of wedlock and have given and received a ring and token and in pledge of your love, I now declare you husband and wife in the name of Christ our Lord. David, you may kiss your bride. God Almighty bless and preserve and keep you. The Lord with his favor mercifully look upon you and with you all spiritual grace that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come you may have life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, and still, Mr. and Mrs. David O'Hara!
So this is my understanding of, of, of where this came from, from Melanie telling me. So it might not be 100% accurate, I'll do my best. So let's start, let's go back a little bit. All right. When you were a kid, or maybe your children at some point in time, when they're learning to read and write and count, right? They get stuck on a word. We've got a lot of teachers here. They know what we're talking about. They get stuck on a word, right? For my sister, it was the word Matt. M-A-T. Okay? They're laughing. She's like three and a half years old. That's all she could spell. And she would come take, she would act like a waitress. And my brothers and I would be playing Atari and we'd be playing asteroids. And she'd come up there with a pad and a big chief tablet with bark still in it. And, it. and she would say, what would you like? And I would say, fries, a Coke, a pizza. And it would just be Matt, Matt, Matt. Right? <laughs> For Melanie, growing up as a little girl, she learned to count real quick. And, but she got to 14 and stalled for a while. Okay, that happens. So for several months, this number 14 was Melanie's infinity. So at one point in time, she gets up on her mom's lap, and her mom says, I love you. And Melanie says, I love you more. And her mom says, I love you infinity. And Melanie says, I love you 14. <laughs> So Melanie told me that story, and I was so taken back. They used that into adulthood. I mean, I've got a framed letter from Melanie's mom to her in my bedroom. At the end, it says, I love you 14. Melanie's mother's headstone says 14 on it. This is a big deal. So when Melanie told me this, you know, I thought, wow, she's really spelling some, selling something, yeah, sharing something special with me. So you can imagine how I felt months and months later when Melanie put her hands on my chest and looked in my eyes and said, David, I love you 14. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't be standing here today after she said that in front of all of you. So that's the story of 14, living happily ever after. But I wouldn't be myself if I didn't take this moment to teach. I love to teach. I'm a teacher. So I love to Okay, we use this love word a lot, don't we? I've said, in just the last few weeks, I've said I've loved a gun that Rusty showed me. About 10 cars my boys have shown me, right? We, we throw that out a lot. If you don't believe me, think for a second, or show a hand. How many of you have hung up with a phone conversation with a complete stranger and said, okay, bye, I love you? <laughs> You've all done it, I've done it. If you haven't done it, someone's done it to you, right? <laughs> So two things I need from you, there's, there's two things. First of all, that love you were, take it very seriously. And I know after this little speech tonight, you will. Everyone in this room will say you love somebody. You'll probably say it before you leave here tonight. Every time you see that number 14, will you think of Melanie and I? Yeah. Send us a text. <laughs> you might be at the meat counter and they'll say, serving 14. Hey, what are we doing? <laughs> All right, that's my story. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I love each and every one of you. I'm not being that. Maybe 13, but I love you. All. <laughs> so my speech isn't going to be as good as his, but I look like better, so it's okay. <laughs> Most kids would be like kind of worried sometimes, but I was just like, you know, whatever, he's a good guy. So we started going to Omaha every once in a while, a couple weeks at a time, or we go like every two weeks. I think we we're gonna move there. And my mom comes to me and she says, we're gonna move to Earth. She said David was gonna get transferred to Illinois. And she asked if I was gonna be okay with that. And I was like, instantly, I was like, yeah, I don't care. I'm good to meet people. And um, so I got up there, I met a bunch of people. People mean to me, or mean a lot to me there. 